Hey everyone, it's Miss Serena here from the Port Jefferson Free Library, and today I'm going to show you how to make your very own destination sign. It looks like this summer we won't be able to do too much traveling, but we can think fondly of our favorite destinations with this destination sign, whether they be real or imaginary. To make our destination signs, first we're going to need some paper. We're going to use that to draw out our and create our design. If you're using a printable design, that's totally fine. You're still gonna need that paper and a pencil, and we're gonna use that to transfer the image. I'll show you how to do that later. You're also gonna need a piece of scrap wood or a wood board. I was able to find this at the Dollar Tree, and it was very handy because it has a little rope so I can hang it up. And then you're gonna also need a little piece of sandpaper Nothing too big, it doesn't matter what grid or anything, just a little something, and we're gonna rough out some of our edges on our board. And then you're gonna need some paint. I am going with a red, a black, and a mustard yellow, and that's because of the theme that I chose, but you can use whatever you'd like. You're not limited to using paint. You could use whatever. Uh, and the colors you choose is also depends on the theme that you're going for or the design of your sign. And lastly, if you're using paint, you're going to need some brushes. First, you're going to want to brainstorm some ideas. Do a quick Google search and see some examples and go with what you're drawn to. Pinterest is another great resource for inspiration. Since I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, I decided to go with the Hogwarts Express sign. Once you have your design picked out, you can go ahead and format it on the computer and print it. Or if you're like me, you don't have access to a printer, you can do it the old fashioned way and draw it. So we have our board here and depending on where you got it from, even if you got it from Michael's or the dollar store like me, it's still a little rough on some edges and we just wanna take care of that and make sure it's all nice and smooth. You don't want to get any splinters so we're just going to take our sandpaper and you want to make sure you're in a well ventilated area because the sandpaper um, creates dust and you don't want to breathe it in so also i would recommend wearing a mask um, and then we're just gonna go along the edges anywhere where you see like a rough edge and you just want it to be smooth Once your board is all sanded, you're just going to wipe it down with a little damp cloth. That way it gets rid of all the dust. We got our board freshly sanded. We have an idea of what we're making with our design. I'm making the Hogwarts Express sign. And before I transfer my design, I'm going to put down a base coat on top of the wood board. If you're doing this too, I recommend doing a light color so that when we transfer it, you'll still be able to see your image through and doing this step is really helpful because then you can just do a solid straight paintbrush with this color and then you could do the letters on top you don't have to paint the background around your letters that's creating a lot of work for yourself And we're gonna let this dry for a little bit before we apply our design. So I have my design all complete and we gotta put it on our board. So I'm gonna show you a cool little trick for how to transfer um, our image to our board. And you can use this if you uh, printed out a template, you can Still use it you're just going to print it out on regular paper and then you're going to turn it over you can grab your pencil um mine is like an art pencil so it's all shaved down it looks weird and you're going to do it on the side and you're just going to color the back
So it's nice and even. We don't want it to be lopsided. And then we're just going to go over. Okay, so you can faintly see it. You guys might not be able to see it on the video but I could see it. And you don't want it to be totally dark because, you know, then it'll just be too dark. But this is just meant to be a guide for you to go over and paint it. It may take a few coats for your paint to look solid, and as an extra detail, you can go over your design with a marker to give it a nice, smooth edge. And there you have it, that's how you make a destination sign. I love mine, it is very fantastical, and it will make me think fondly of Hogwarts. If you make your own destination sign, please let us know in the comments where your sign is pointing to. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and head on over to poorjefflibrary.org to see some of our upcoming programs. All right.